Environmental activists, Native American groups and a coalition of outdoor retailers have vowed to redouble their efforts to protect public lands, after the U.S. Interior Secretary, Ryan Zinke, recommended on Thursday that Donald Trump change the boundaries of a handful of national monuments. U.S. public lands, Trump official recommends shrinking national monuments. Read more. Advocates fear that Zinke's recommendation, which has not been revealed beyond its most basic outline, could mean the largest reversal of federal monument status in history and the first alteration of any national monument boundary since 1964. Secretary Zinke's recommendation is an insult to tribes, said Carlton Bocchetti, co-chairman of the Inter-Tribal Coalition, which asked Barack Obama to create the Bears Ears Monument in Utah in 2015, citing increasing thefts and vandalism at more than 100,000 native cultural sites in the area. Millions of petitioners have joined an urgently assembled advocacy effort to dissuade the Trump administration from moving against the monuments. On Friday, the outdoor retailer Patagonia, which spearheaded the industry, Initiative, said the group would continue its efforts. We're willing to take every step necessary, including legal action, to defend these public lands, said Hans Cole, director of environmental activism at Patagonia. For us, all of these awful scenarios present something that is unacceptable. To us and to a great majority of the American public, Brian Sibbert, director of the nonprofit, Conservation Lands Foundation, said Zinke's review, made a mockery of the decades of work that local communities have invested to protect these places for future generations. Just this week, an independent analysis of the public comments on Zinke's review showed that more than 99 percent of Americans want our national monuments to remain unchanged. Sibbert said in a statement, Zinke seemed to discount the near unanimity of the public response. Comments received were overwhelmingly in favor of maintaining existing monuments and demonstrated a well-orchestrated national campaign organized by multiple organizations, he said in a summary report. Zinke has called for the downsizing of monuments including Bears Ears and Grand Staircase Escalante in Utah and Cascade Siskiyou in Oregon. The Washington Post reported, National monuments are protected sites of historical, cultural or scientific interest managed by a patchwork of federal agencies. Opponents of the one, three meters acre bears. Ears Monument have said it is too big and warned that an increase in tourists attracted by the federal status could damage the site.